what is messed up in the world today. messed up. So apparently this happened in Florida where a teacher walks in, sees Muslim students praying, she steps all over them, she says, I believe in Jesus, so I can interrupt you, that she calls their prayers black magic and walks away. So let's break this down. Number one, for those who don't know, Muslims pray five obligatory prayers a day. We pray one at dawn, one at noon, one in the afternoon, one at sunset, and one in the evening after sunset. A few of those prayers tend to coincide with work or school hours. So, we tend to pray in meeting rooms, closets, offices, and wherever we're able to find room. Number two. I noticed the teacher seemed a little surprised that they were praying in her office. Now, first of all, I would like to say, for just Muslims going forward, definitely inform your school principal, teachers, and any others, if you work your managers, HR, inform them of your need to pray so you have some sort of prayer space. And more often than not, in my experience, They'll work with you to give you space. But the way this teacher reacted is not befitting of a professional or even a mature adult. Number three, she called it magic. Well, well, one more time, she called it magic. I'm just gonna assume that it's obvious that her reaction is due to her severe ignorance and being probably misinformed about Islam. Because to call it magic, it shows you've been learning about Islam from, from some very questionable sources. Number four, why were the students recording their prayer? Well, honestly, there's a variety of reasons, but what I would think is maybe something similar like to this has happened before, and they wanted to have it on camera in case it happened again. And finally, it appears this teacher has been fired. Now, personally, I would prefer the teacher maybe at worst be suspended and given a proper introduction and education about Islam preferably given the chance to apologize and hopefully change her behavior. I feel firing just, just like that without any other action might be just building resentment and doesn't really provide the person with the opportunity to be educated about Islam, which is what we want to do as Muslims, educate people about Islam. And hopefully they turn into allies. But I guess it is what it is. I hope this person, this teacher, ends up learning about Islam and changing her perception.